Nashville. On today's episode, we are heading down to Lynchburg, Tennessee, and uh, we're going to talk about Lynchburg, Tennessee, and all the things to do there. There's only a few things to do because it's a small town, but they make some of the best whiskey that you can ever find in the state of Tennessee in this town, so we'll yeah. be talking about that. But head over to ExploreTours.com to book your tour today for the Nashville History Walking Tour. Uh, this tour takes place most of the month of July and August. We're going to be releasing a few other dates for a few other of our tours. You can use the code ND10 to take 10% off. And then if you need some caffeine, head over to blessedaycoffee.com to get your caffeine fixed today and use code XPLRExplore20 to take 20% off. They also have free delivery in the Nashville area. Uh, as I have said earlier, we are deep into this day trip series. We're about halfway through and we're going down to one of the best small towns in Tennessee. Unfortunately, there's not many places to stay. There's a few Airbnbs <laughs> in this town. It's about an hour and a half away from Nashville. You drive down through Murfreesboro, uh, borough. Uh, you drive through Shelbyville, and then you get into Lynchburg, Tennessee. Uh, in Shelbyville, there's a great uh, Uncle Nearest's uh, distilling company, which is fantastic. Uh, and Lynchburg, Tennessee is the home of Jack Daniels. Uh, there's a few things to do in this town, but you literally can spend a whole day and then come back to Nashville uh, pretty easily for this trip. Yeah. So I do want to take a second to uh, make sure that you have packed your blessed day coffee for this trip, uh, because this is not necessarily going to be a, uh, a, a huge coffee shop town. There's not. Um, yeah. And so pack your blessed day coffee, pack it in a few thermoses, and uh, and make sure you are well prepared for the trip. And maybe you could <laughs> maybe you could even get a little Jack and Coffee action going on. Sounds uh, pretty good with, with all before. the coffee you, you you saved up. So, uh, Stuart, what is what are you going to start your day with? If you if you arrive down in Lynchburg in the morning, how are you going to start your day? Well, so there's a new restaurant in Lynchburg that I've never been to. Uh, so this probably opened recently, but it's called Whiskey Waffle, and this is yeah, this it looks is like new. a brand new uh, waffle company here in Lynchburg. Uh, they have a biscuit sandwich with waffles. They also have just regular waffles. They have a cinnamon roll waffle. And then they have a waffle whiskey waffle cup. So you get a waffle with ice cream. That's pretty cool. Oh, very cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So this is super unique. They also have dinosaur waffles. If you're bringing some children down there, uh, they have a I mean, Mickey Mouse waffle. That's for anybody. Yeah. Any age. Uh, so this is uh, <laughs> Mechanic Street in downtown Lynchburg. Lynchburg's pretty small. You yeah. can walk through the entire town. Did we, is, is Greg down there? Is he, is Greg he is sipping on the, yeah, you know? He's, uh, he's day drinking a little bit. All know? right. Well, I, can, I don't blame him. We, we can still have him show. Lynchburg, the, the town square area is small enough where Greg can probably do a little waddling down there and show us what's going on. Yeah. So uh, we've had Greg, the Google guy down here before. Uh, a few things I want to highlight in the square. It's so small that we can highlight a few things here. Uh, you have Velma's Candy Shop. They make homemade Tennessee fudge with Jack Daniels whiskey. The best thing that they make, and I love it, uh, they make these Oreos that have chocolate like and Jack Daniels in it. And so you oh, can get like so flavor, like the, different like flavored the, Oreos. Like the, the cream in the center is uh -huh. like chocolate and Jack Daniels. Yes. Whoa. But like it has Oreo cream too, but it's surrounded. So it's like oh, an Oreo wow. surrounded with chocolate and <laughs> That's Jack Daniels. That's really cool. Um, I've had a few of those <laughs> in my days. They're, they're really good. Uh, here you have an ice cream shop and pizza shop. This is just a good, good place to get some good things. Um, the ice cream shop is good. I can't remember what type of ice cream they're serving. And then the rest of this square, this square is pretty small. The Candle and Co., uh, this is a good local shop. And then you have this incredible courthouse. Like this town hall yeah. is super small. The town's very small. If you come over here to this corner, you have the Jack Daniels. Oh, Daniels, and Daniels Greg, Greg went there pretty quick. Uh, general store. This is where you can get all of your Jack Daniels merchandise, your it is, barrels. It is actually a really, really good store. It's fantastic. Yeah. I, I Fantastic. Sometimes, sometimes visitor stores or general mm -hmm. stores are just... Uh, you know, not that good, but theirs is actually really good. So my, okay, so there, there is this, um, hey, there's a Lenyap. You remember that? Uh, Lenyaps. Oh, really? Yeah, I guess that's new. That's can a cafe. You, maybe you, they're can serving. Can you zoom into that? Oh. Yeah, so I guess they're serving Lenyap coffee, maybe. Cafe. I wonder if it was the I'm same people to, from I know, Goodman's I'm have to We're going to have to research that. how to spell that. Um, <laughs> well, I could, I'm right here. Hold on. Let me go back to it. I see. There's it's the one. L a g n i a p p e. Yeah, I think that I'm I'm looking at the one in Goodlettsville right now. That it, one closed, didn't it? They still have a website. Okay, maybe it's them. This is my favorite I got, store. I think it got bought, maybe reopened by another by company, right? Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, this is one of my favorite stores in Lynchburg. And this is the Moon Pie General Store. So if you've ever had the Moon Pie, this is a Tennessee original. We've covered this on the podcast. Uh, they have all the different flavors of Moon Pie that Moon Pie that you can ever expect: pumpkin spice, mint, chocolate, vanilla. This is a fantastic store. But as you can see, this downtown is really small. So the few restaurants that we're going to cover, uh, one restaurant is right here. Uh, hold on, where am I? While you're finding that, here's an update on Lanyap Cafe. So this is different than the the Lanyap in Goodlettsville. Okay. Um, it is a husband and, and wife team though. Okay. Um, and they have they've they've brought some of their uh their kind of Cajun uh food to this area. Um, and so they've got gumbo, shrimp creole, burgers, po' boys. Red beans, rice, uh, slaw, okra. Uh, they have some incredible things on the menu as well. J uh, Jack Daniels infused chocolate chip uh, pecan pie. Yes, please. White chocolate bread pudding. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is uh, this is something cool. We have not tried this yet. So that's really cool. Uh, yeah, I guess we have to go down to Lynchburg. Uh, <laughs> oh, darn. It's part of the reason you have to do these day trips, <laughs> these, these series. Uh, so the most famous restaurant in Lynchburg is Miss Bar Mary Bobo's. This is now owned by Jack Daniels, which yep. is interesting. So you have to do your booking through them. But this is like true Southern cuisine. It's really difficult to get into this restaurant. Make a reservation. Make a reservation in yeah. advance. Uh, so that's one of the best restaurants. And now let's go through this small town. It gets, it's so small <laughs> that Greg can do all of this. While day drinking. While day drinking. Like he is drunk as a goat right now, which I've never <laughs> seen a drunk goat. I've seen a drunk cow. I've I've seen I've seen a video of a goat take a beer bottle and just, just grab it onto it and, and eat just it, flip it up and chug it. I oh, mean, he was doing not it, not in real life, just a video. OK, uh, so <laughs> this is this is one of my favorite restaurants in Lynchburg. This is called Barrel House Barbecue. Uh, they've been here for quite a while. They have this sandwich called a brisket crack sandwich, and it's a brisket grilled cheese. And I am freaking starving right now <laughs> thinking about this sandwich. I've had this sandwich like 10 times, 10 or 15 times every single time. It's amazing. When you go into this restaurant, uh, people have like put like their dollar bills on the walls. Oh, which that's is cool. super interesting. Yeah. But then everyone like has their signatures on the restaurants. So this is basically all you can do in Lynchburg is these few things. But the best thing that you can do for yourself is visit Jack Daniels. Yes. Let's get get yourself to Jack Daniels. So this town's so small that Greg that can Greg hop over to Jack Daniels. To Jack Daniels. I yep. doubt he can go over to that bridge. Nope, he can't go over the bridge. Jack Daniels is basically right there. <laughs> let's let's see how see far if you can get in the parking lot. Let's see how far we can get, Mister Mister Greg. Yeah, we could probably get him almost all the way there. All right, let's go to the parking lot, Greg. Oh yes, sir. Oh uh, yeah, I knew Greg visited there. Yeah. We all knew that he, he went he's, there. He's day drinking. <laughs> he's he's drunk right now. So Jack Daniels is the best thing to do in Lynchburg. Uh, this is a shorter episode, hour and a half uh, drive to Lynchburg from Nashville. Uh, but Jack Daniels, you have a few different options. You have your Angel Shale tour. You have your regular whiskey tour. You have a kid-friendly tour where they're not doing any of the tastings, but they're still learning the experience and history of it. The tour at Jack Daniels typically lasts about an hour, but you could probably spend two or three hours on the property yeah. uh, because they have rocking chairs all throughout the property. It feels like it feels like Cracker Barrel, but like a better experience. Uh, way better experience. Way better experience, <laughs> but uh, they don't have much food on the property. That's why you have to go into downtown Lynchburg. It's, it's literally a 10-minute walk. You could park at Jack Daniels for free, walk into Lynchburg, and walk back. You could yep. spend, I would spend probably four or five hours in Lynchburg yeah. with, with eating, with uh, going to Jack Daniels, and then the hour-and-a-half drive. So it, it's a, literally a full day. Yeah, and uh, a cool thing about Jack's is that you can – grab uh certain bottles while mm -hmm. you're there um and you can engrave get me get your bottles engraved with a custom message as long as it's not a copyrighted thing um you can you can get an engravement on a lot of different bottles there uh so so that's a really cool experience well the they have a lot of stuff in their uh their kind of visitor center so as soon as you walk in of history oh you can see old bottles you yep. can see the history of the, the brands and uh, it, it even talks a little bit about how nearest green got st uh, nearest distiller got started as well in there. Yeah. And uh, so all of these, the Lynchburg is a great town, but there's, that's all you can do is go to Jack Daniels, go to the barrel house. If you can get a reservation, <laughs> Mary Miss Bobos, get some fudge and Oreos at yep. Velma's, 
go to the Moon Pie store, the Je- the general store. So this is a short episode. So head over to the Nashville Daily Podcast to see the other episodes in this day trip series. Uh, there's a lot of other towns that we've talked about. Columbia, Tennessee, Franklin, Tennessee, McMinnville, Tennessee, Centerville, Tennessee, upcoming cities that we're still talking about. We have Nolensville, Tennessee. We have Dix- Dixon, Tennessee. We have Sevierville, Tennessee, Chattanooga, and Bowling Woo! Green. We have a few a towns. List. Yeah, we're, we're going all over this state. Greg is having a good old time day drinking. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for listening to the Nashville Daily Podcast. If you want to learn more, head to NashvilleDailyPodcast.com. You can also follow us on social media at Explore.Nash on Instagram, Nashville Daily Podcast on YouTube, and Explore.Nash on YouTube as well. The Nashville Daily Podcast is an Explore LLC production, copyright 2023.